studying, you have classes from morning till evening, you have other uh, demands. So how do you find the time? Was there a timetable done for that it distributed among the different students or how was it done? Uh, to be more precise, the first thing that we did after the team was recruited was we made a precise schedule okay. of, the entire th of the entire project. Obviously the things can't go as per schedule because but then again, we had time to time had to revise it and we went about it and things finally worked out. But the thing is that the biggest constraint for us in the starting was sponsorship for our project. And that's, that, is, that, is the, that is the worst time for us due to recession, the global economies and uh, the economies are not, it was a big problem for us. Okay, so the whole economy and the recession actually hit you guys? Did it actually affect the whole yeah, process? Yeah, it hit us much more than we thought it would. Because the starting, starting we went around uh, for big companies. But then again, we had to come down, scale down to smaller companies, the small scale industries. We went about with the idea of a souvenir. So th that's how we went about. The, a small book, is a souvenir is a small magazine that contains details of a project. Okay. So that's where we're containing various advertisements of companies that have helped us in the project. Okay. So that's how we went about things. But then finally, uh, one day, one fine day, this company called Do Technology comes in and sponsors us with rupees six lakhs. Okay. And then also the college has helped us in a very big way. They have okay. given us a facility in the college itself with a workshop. Okay. So uh, when you look at this, uh, it does not matter whether you have a big company sponsoring you or a small company sponsoring you. What matters is how big your idea is. And let's have a look at this idea, this particular plane that we are talking about, this unmanned aerial vehicle. What is it that these students of RV College of Engineering have achieved? Take a look. Think big and it will take you places. But these students did not think big. They were dreaming high. This bunch of Bengalurians from RV College have made Namma City proud. They will be participating in the forthcoming Aero Design Contest to be held in Georgia. These young brains will be displaying and flying their unmanned aerial vehicle called Vioma at the aeronautical competition for the second time. Hosted by Lockheed Martin and NASA, this project will be judged along 65 other UAVs from colleges and universities across the world. I feel great actually to be a part of this team. The students are highly motivated. It's a matter of pride for the whole country in a participating competition like this. I feel extremely good and excited to be a part of this team. But ultimately when it comes down to execution of the project, uh, the students need uh, you know, somebody to take care of the flowing of the funds. That's where one of the important roles come from there. But most importantly, guiding the students towards successful completion of the project. And there are times when things will not be going very smooth because technically we are not supposed to involve in, uh, uh, in the design part or whatever. But we are supposed to guide them in telling them as to where this information is available. The team has received sponsorship worth 6 lakh rupees from Dubai-based aviation firm Do Technologies. Apart from this, they will also receive 2 lakh rupees from their college trust. These seven students are the only ones to represent India. They participated last year as well and were placed 18th. But this year, Team Vyoma is aiming big. Last year, we were 18th being the newcomers there. And what we were lagging at, what we realized from participating there was, we were lagging in the material field due to uh, shortage of funds and even the non-availability of materials we wanted to use last year. This year again we worked on the material and we have improvised a little, I wouldn't say much and last year we felt that we were on par design wise with the other teams. So uh, going by the improvisations we have made this year we feel that uh, we can finish in top 5. To make Vyoma fit for applications like precision agriculture, disaster management, landscape mapping, atmospheric sampling missions, the team has worked on a whole array of avionic devices such as anemometer, wind direction indicator, humidity sensors, temperature sensors, onboard cameras and radio link apparatus. The commercial aspects of this aircraft is for the farmers basically, wherein they get to spray pesticides etc. on their big fields. So that is one application we are looking at as of now. The students have pleasant memories of the event which was held at the same venue last year. The event had stringent rules regarding aircraft length, width and height and available power for the UAV. The total length, width and height had to be within 175 inches. These rules were an extreme challenge for the students' creativity. The aircraft was judged on three categories. Design report, oral presentation and flight score. 
The contest evaluates the ability to design, fabricate and test an aircraft that could take off and land while carrying the maximum payload where the total weight of the aircraft cannot exceed 55 pounds. With superior technology, the team feels they will make the country proud and have a dream run at the competition. Newsline wishes them all the best. Well, they're so confident about the idea, it's uh, kind of futile wishing them all the best because they're very confident about it. But to talk more about this, we're just looking at the visuals. We can see the plane being built from scratch. So uh, what are the different processes which went through? What are the most difficult phase, the easiest phase? How do you go step by step? Uh, basically, we. Uh I'll talk about the first year how it went on because the second year is like they 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 had people like us you know to help. Uh, actually, first year what we did was we had no idea about how to go about making the plane. Uh, technical we can study from books, but such things you know it comes by experience. So we started you know making small gliders. We started with paper planes to be uh, honest. We started with paper planes and then small gliders, and then we actually started off uh, building the wing for our big plane. And uh, we found it quite difficult because the airfoil that we had chosen was, uh, I mean, it, it had had a geometry which was kind of difficult to work with. And then uh, once we made the wing, actually we started with the difficult part. Wing is a difficult part over here compared to the fuselage. So we started with that. And then once we did that, we got the confidence to go ahead and then we made the fuselage and then the landing gears and all. So fuselage, wings, all complicated trigonometry, big, big words being used. Uh, uh, Adarsh, just to get you in here, uh, is it all work and no play? How is it when the whole team gets together? How, how do you guys uh, sort it out? No, this is actually a, actually a big learning experience and plus we have loads of fun in the workshop. We have got an entire workshop, a big room allocated for us in the, in the campus itself. And we get special permission to stay out late in the night. Okay. So 